Welcome to my lecture online. Now here's our first example of how to apply the concept of the discriminant. We're asked to solve the equation, and our first equation is y equals x squared plus 49. So to find the roots of the equation, as we call it, we set y equal to 0 to find where this equation crosses the x-axis. And then we'll graph it to show you what that looks like. So first, we need to identify the coefficients, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 49. So if we're going to plug the solution into, or find the solution by using the quadratic formula, we get x is equal to, well, since b is equal to 0, we get 0 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 0 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 49, all divided by 2a, that's 2 times 1. All right, simplifying that, we get the following. We get x is equal to, well, that means plus or minus the square root of 4 times 49 times the negative, so I'll just write it minus 4 times 49. I'll leave it like that because that makes it easier to take the root and divide that by 2. So what I can see here is that the discriminant is negative. So we can say that the discriminant is less than 0, it's a negative number, which means there's no real solution, there will be two imaginary solutions. So two imaginary solutions. All right, now we just got to figure out what they are. So we're going to take the square root of that. So this is x is equal to uh, plus or minus, that would be the square root of a negative 1, because I'm factoring out the negative 1, times the square root of 4, times the square root of 49, all divided by 2. Now, of course, I don't have to do it like that, but it kind of, it's nice to see how we can easily take the square roots. This will be i, that will be 2, and that will be 7. So this will be equal to plus or minus uh, 2 times 7 times i over 2, because we still have the denominators. The 2 cancels out, so this will be plus or minus 7i. So there's the two imaginary solutions when x is a positive 7i or x is a negative 7i, of course. That's an imaginary number or a complex number. They don't really exist, but it does give us some insight. So if we're going to graph this equation, here we have the y-axis, there we have the x-axis. Notice when x is equal to 0, y is 49. So this right here would be the point 49. And then it must open upward because we know that the parabola does not cross the x-axis. So that means it's going to open upward, upward like this. And then if we draw the mirror image, like that, then we know that it will cross there and there. And then those are what we call the imaginary solutions. That would be plus 7i, and that would be minus 7i, because obviously it doesn't really cross the x-axis. It's just an imaginary solution. And that's how we think of the solution of this quadratic equation. And that's how we employ the discriminant to predict what's going to happen what kind of solution we're going to get. And that is how it's done.